Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for intermediate English learners. You can download the PDF transcript of this and other stories on our Patreon page. You can find the link in the description below. Ready? Let's get started. B1, B2 English Story Customs and Traditions in the UK The main Christian festivals are Christmas, Boxing Day and Easter. But there are many other customs and traditions in the UK. Let's go through them. Christmas Day takes place every year on December 25th and celebrates the birth of Jesus. Christmas Day is always a bank holiday, which means banks, shops and public services are generally closed, except for health services, the police and the fire brigade. Bank holidays can be religious or non-religious holidays. At Christmas, people spend time with their family and friends. They eat home-cooked food and exchange gifts. A typical Christmas dinner consists of roast turkey, potatoes, vegetables and pigs in blankets, followed by Christmas pudding and mince pies. Christmas is an especially exciting time for children as they believe that Father Christmas brings them presents during the night before Christmas Day. Children go to bed early on Christmas Eve and wake up to presents under their Christmas trees. At Christmas, families decorate their homes with baubles, lights and candles and nowadays it is becoming more common for people to decorate their gardens or driveways too. Boxing Day is the day after Christmas Day and is also a bank or public holiday. Like Christmas Day, Boxing Day is often spent with extended family. There are also many sporting matches on this day. New Year is also a bank or public holiday. This is always on the 1st of January. Most people spend this day relaxing as they are often celebrating and partying on New Year's Eve. In Scotland, New Year's Eve is called Hogmanay. In Scotland, there is an extra bank holiday on January 2nd. The date of Easter, unlike Christmas, changes each year and takes place between March and April. Easter marks the death and resurrection of Jesus. In the run-up to Easter, some people will give up something for 40 days. This is called Lent. It starts on Shrove Tuesday, otherwise known as Pancake Day. On Pancake Day, people eat, you guessed it, pancakes. This tradition is meant to use up leftover eggs, milk and fat before Lent begins on Ash Wednesday. Easter is celebrated by people who are not religious. Friends, family and colleagues exchange chocolate Easter eggs 
which are a symbol of new life. Other celebrations in the UK include Valentine's Day, April Fool's Day, Mothering Sunday, Father's Day, Halloween, Bonfire Night and Remembrance Day. Valentine's Day is always on February 14th. It is a day to tell your partner that you love them. People can also declare their love for others on this day by sending cards or flowers. April Fool's Day is always on the 1st of April. On this day, people are allowed to play jokes on each other until midday. TV shows and newspapers often have fake advertisements or stories that are April Fool jokes. Mother's Day or Mothering Sunday is always the Sunday three weeks before Easter. It is a day when you say thank you to your mother for everything she has done. Families will go out for meals and buy gifts of thanks for their mothers. Father's Day is always the third Sunday in June. Much like Mother's Day, families get gifts for their fathers to say thank you for all that they do. Halloween takes place on October 31st. This ancient pagan festival marks the beginning of winter. Many people believe Halloween to be a spiritual day. Children dress up in costumes and go trick-or-treating around their neighbourhoods. They knock on people's doors and ask, trick-or-treat, penny or sweet. If the neighbour does not give them a sweet, then they play a trick on them. On Halloween, Many people decorate their homes with carved pumpkins. Bonfire night is always on November 5th. On this day, people set off fireworks or have bonfires in celebration of the gunpowder plot in 1605. This was when Guy Fawkes was caught trying to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Remembrance Day is always on November 11th. It commemorates those who have died fighting for the UK and its allies. On this day and in the weeks running up to it, people wear poppies. At 11am on the 11th day, of the 11th month, there is always a two-minute silence led by the Queen and Prime Minister at the Cenotaph in Whitehall in London. What is your favourite custom or tradition from your country? Tell us in the comments below. Now, keep watching and we'll go through some vocabulary. Celebration. Celebration. A celebration is a party at which you celebrate something such as a birthday or a religious holiday. Custom. Custom. A custom is a way of behaving or something that people do that is traditional. Tradition. Tradition. A tradition is an old custom or belief. Pancake. Pancake. Pancakes are delicious and made by cooking a mixture of flour, eggs and milk. 
Parliament. Parliament. Parliament is a group of politicians or other people who have been elected and make the laws for their country. Religious. Religious. If you are religious, you believe in a god or gods. Spiritual. Spiritual. Spiritual is related to your spirit instead of the physical world. Symbol. Symbol. A symbol is a sign or object that is used to represent something else. Treat. A treat. A treat is a special experience or a food that is usually sweet and a little unhealthy. Ancient. Ancient. If something is ancient, it is from a long time ago. Decorate. To decorate. To decorate is to add something, usually colours or patterns, to an object or a place to make it more attractive. Exchange. To exchange. To exchange is the act of giving something to someone and them giving you something in return. Festival. Festival. A festival is an organised series of events or a special day or period, usually in memory of a person or a religious event. Firework. Firework. A firework explodes when you light it and produces beautiful coloured lights. Fool. Fool. A fool is a person who behaves in a silly way and perhaps they are not very intelligent. Joke. Joke. A joke is a story that is told or a trick to try and make people laugh. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. You can find the link in the description below. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.